All right, guys, and now we are in Volcano National Park in Hawaii, and we're just gonna be walking around and doing a few hikes through here. So um, I hope you guys enjoy that. And let's get started. We're gonna see some pretty good views of the volcanic area, kind of like the crater. And we're also gonna see some steam vents and maybe even that uh, little lava tube, that little uh, cave with uh, the walkway going through it. So that'll be fun. Here we have a little bit of an overview. So we're here. And then there's gonna be, so that's three. So we need to be on one. And then you go to two. And then an optional thing is three if you have enough time. And there's the top over there. But we're kind of at the, the scenic view area, if you will. Which is just, looks like it's right up here actually. So, but we'll see. Yeah, so it's gonna be right over here. Okay, so you can see plenty of, I'm not sure what that is down there, but volcanic basalt or something. So you have a huge plain. You can see where the, uh, the cliffs concave. There's some volcanic vents over there. And then there's just this huge vast lands right down there with forests all around it. Uh, these are, so we're up on a ledge right now, on a pretty good ledge. And then all down there, if you see, is where the vents are. And that's where this huge place right here is pretty much uh, where the uh, eruption happened. And this crater you're seeing is like the, the epicenter of the, uh, of the volcano. or at least part of it, because then there's another uh, valley over there, as you can see, a volcanic valley. And then... All of this, like, steam and, like, mostly, like, fog kind of stuff is just emerging. Look at that down there. But there's a bunch of... It's very overcast. There's a lot of uh, clouds, but there's also a lot of fog covering everything else. And then it's just like light over there. Look at all those clouds. Now we are here at the, um, at the heat vents and there's a little hike that leads to a lot more than what you're seeing right now. Also, this is a wishing vent. Check it out. There's all kinds of money down there. Yeah, I think I'm just. Okay, so we are at the entrance of the Steaming Bluff Overlook to Crater Rim Trail. So we got that here. And it's just, this is probably the most obvious trail I've ever seen. <laughs> it would be nice to have this back in Big Bear when the trail wasn't so clear. But yeah, we just got to continue up this way. And as usual, this is the hike highlights. So we made it back to a scenic view of the crater. And also we have all of these volcanic vents just belching out mist all around. So we're just gonna take a look around. This is already a pretty good view, but there's also gonna be a lot of other stuff, as you can see, we're surrounded by all sorts of vents. 
which is nice. So we're just gonna, again, see what there is to see. And then, uh, yeah, that will pretty much, that's pretty much just the goal right there. Look at that rainforest, guys. That is cool. Yeah, so like I said, you can walk either way back there. There's a path going left and a path going right once you get there. And then this is kind of what you get the entire way. Uh, there's just vent after vent after vent. And if you look, check this out. Look at all this. Pretty cool, huh? We got more volcanic vents all throughout here. Check that out. That's pretty cool. And we're just gonna keep going that away. So guys, check this out. You have these trees with a little bit of like mossy fuzz on them. Not sure why it's, there we go. So you have that. And then you have these flowers over here. And then you also have like these little areas where it almost looks like there's little like cactus growths on them. Little tiny like aloe flowers thingy, thingy ma bobbers. But yeah, there's some cool stuff over here. All kinds of new plants and stuff that you don't get back in San Diego or really anywhere in California. So I just wanted to make sure that I'm showing you guys kind of what is over here. Half of these look like they've been burned and the other half of the leaves look, well, just fine. I've noticed a few of these earlier, but you notice them a lot better when you're this close to them. And here we have a lot of moss fuzz. And this continues for quite a while. I don't see too many vents now. There's a little area close sign over here, just to be sure, just to be safe. We found some cool steam vents way over there. And we also found some neat little views on the side too. Of course, you know, depending on what path you take, there's gonna be some foliage uh, blocking the scenery as well that you just gotta be aware of. So not all of them are truly worth it, but there are, when there's not a good view in one direction, there's gonna be a, better view in another, especially when it comes to these wide open spaces and these sort of trails and, and valleys and stuff like that. Here we don't have, we don't really have a feasible path at all. As you can see, it just kind of tapers off here. Oh, but you kind of get one. Look at this. Very, just like, very thick underbrush. And here's the view you get. Very cool. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna start heading back this way from whence we came. But yeah, it's really cool. Really nice views of the volcanic crater. Okay, and just a little bit down the path, we find a much better lookout spot. A little bit of fenced in stuff. But this is a much better view if you don't like the plants in the way. Sometimes cliffs and plants that are in the shot actually make it a little bit better of a picture because they give you kind of a perspective of how far away and how far down everything is. You can see a little bit of equipment down there, probably for data climate gathering 
for uh, climate, you know, data gathering. Really quickly, so we're now on the left side, right here, and there's quite a few vents over on this side too. Um, they're close to you when you're on, you know, the outer part of it, near the fence. But then you go here and there seems to be a little break for them. Although there's a bit more up here. If you keep, uh, if you keep going down this way, so it does get quite a bit better. Look at that. You have these absolutely massive vents that are blowing right at us over here. Uh, it's getting so cloudy that you can't even really see a good, uh, a good glimpse of them. But yeah, wow, it's really warm. It's all over here. And there's some more volcanic vents that you can see. You can see where the opening is just right there. But other than that, you can't really see where any of the other ones are. Sulfur banks sign over there. And that's still got quite a bit more ways to go if we want to get to the third destination, which was the lava tube, like I said before. Okay guys, so this is going to be the lava tube portion of the video. They're all in close proximity to one another, but yeah, this is just a little bit of a drive to go down to the trailhead here. And also we have a vastly different perspective, a lower perspective of inside that volcanic valley or the crater that we saw earlier. So um, we're just gonna get right into it as usual. And yeah, you can see the, the vents over there. But yeah, we're gonna see what else there is to see. And just like that, we are ready to go on the hike. Surprisingly, it's still sprinkling and all that, so we'll just see what ends up happening. So starting off, the view isn't too clear, as you can probably tell, but we're Probably, certainly, definitely going to be getting quite a bit better views uh, later on, whenever that may be. So it also looks like there's a few side trails as well. So that leads to the parking lot. Would you look at that? But yeah, so there's a, maybe a few trail heads, but not to get too confused or sidetracked. We're just going to keep going. We have this little mysterious cave full of roots here. Very nice. Now it's coming in better, but before, not so much. And we're just gonna keep going. It's probably just a little open area where some of the soil kind of gave it away. But nothing, nothing too special. So here, we were just coming from that way. We now have a much better view of everything here. Just a, another big, kind of like obsidian flat kind of thing. Volcanic rock. Yeah, there's a trail that goes down through there. That is pretty cool. And then we have just the valley over there with huge lush forests on both sides and stuff like that. Very nice. Now we're kind of in the tropical like rainforest area. And as you can see, there's just kind of like, there's stuff on every side of you now, even above you, which is cool. The trail is still very obvious. It's just moss and stuff covering the covering the bark. 
And yeah, feels kind of like you're walking through like the rainforest exhibit at the zoo, except it's, it's real. You're just there. There's no, you know, smoke, mirrors and lights. It's just, you're there. We're there, dude. And over here, we have a much clearer view down the canyon way. Very nice. Now we're just gonna continue through the rainforest. Okay, so now we're going across the road to another trailhead because we kind of started further away from the parking lot with the trailhead for where we wanna be, which is the Thurston Lava Tube Trail. And we're gonna start it now. We go this way. Okay, so we got a regular road that way, a lava tube entrance that way. And here is, yep, a couple of information boards about wildlife this time. And we got all sorts of stuff here, as you can see. Lots of birds, got some big crickets, spiders. We're also looking at uh, <laughs> some more birds. But yeah, also some cool, like that snail, almost looks like it has a pattern on it. <clears throat> Either that or that's just the video, or the uh, the picture that was taken. Some the flies that help the ecosystem. So over there's the Crater Rim Trail, but obviously we want to be taking the lava tube entrance. Look at that. And then, uh, yeah, and it's gonna be down this way. So we've been going down, down, and down for a while. And we're just kind of following the path, which is very, very well defined. 10 out of 10 trail in terms of like where it is and all that. Got so, some very small information boards. A brick wall made of very, very large bricks. And uh, yeah, there is stuff growing on everything here. And we're just gonna keep taking this and eventually it'll lead to it'll lead to a very cool looking cave that you pass through and then come back. So we're just gonna be taking that trail up ahead. Alright guys, so here we go. We're coming up on the cave itself. And it is big. Look at all that. So we're just gonna be going in there. Just gonna take a few pictures though because the entrance is amazing. Okay guys, so now, now we're entering the abyss. And here we go. Echo. Uh, not as much as you'd expect. Um, a little bit of a drop there. Oh my goodness, my camera can barely even pick this up. So it's kind of like, okay, now there's an echo. Very, very much so. So we're just gonna keep going down here. Not too much you guys can see. So as always, I recommend you guys go here and check it out in person. That's the best thing. But right now, can't really get too much of it. Entrance is back that way. All right guys, so we're out at the other end of it. And like I said before, there's not really anything that the camera can pick up on very well when you're in the darkness, but you know, now we're out. Okay, so we just came out of the e exit, which is there. And now we are back outside.
Yep. Looks about the same as I remember out here. Huge foliage everywhere, blocking out the sky. Not really. <clears throat> All right, and then we just proceed this way. Again, the trail is very well defined, which is very, very cool. Very, very good. So guys, really quickly, look at this. Isn't that cool? Inside of a mossy, broken log, still standing somehow. And it has this like teardrop formations, upside down teardrops inside. Very cool. I just, I was looking around, I was like, everything is cool as usual, but then it got extra cool. And I just didn't even know. It looks like there was, I don't think that was made by bugs or anything. It looks like it was already there. It's like the in, who would have known, like in the insides of these plants, there might all be some kind of pattern or something. Something as cool or maybe even cooler than that. Watch for trucks. Noted, so it's not just in America. And here we go, we're back at the beginning again. That's where we saw the information signs. Over there is where we found the, the lava tube entrance. And then those, and then we go back this way. And we're just gonna go back through, we went through the lava loop or the lava tube. That was kind of, it was like a loop hike cause we never had to turn around completely. And now we're just gonna go back the way we came. So that's pretty much the end of it. And I will see you guys next time. But until next time, stay awesome. Peace out.